Welcome back YouTube. We're back with another video. Today we're going to be going over the most powerful double underpass in Jiu Jitsu. But before we get started, make sure to check out our sponsor, Nation Athletic, Jiu Jitsu Apparel for Everyone. Uh, the link is going to be down in the description. Also guys, the best way to help the channel is to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All of these things are free to do. So. All right, so we're gonna get started here, okay? So we're in the open guard, um, and we're actually, we're just gonna get started from the double under position, okay? We can look at how to get into that um, a bunch of different ways. But first, there are many different ways uh, that I've been taught to do the double under pass. Let's just turn this one. One of the most common ways is to get like the gable grip around your partner's hips. And uh, what a lot of people tell you to do is, is to bring your partner's hips on top of your legs like this, and then you can start looking to fish the pals and to stack your partner and run around like that. But I've actually found a different grip um, that works really, really well, and I haven't looked back ever since I started doing it. All right, and one of the best things about this grip is that it prevents a lot of the counters um, that people normally have. So whether you're grabbing the pants or you're doing this gable grip here, a lot of the common reactions when you're doing the double underpass is that they can try to uh, cup at your uh, your wrist here. Yeah, and then they're gonna shimmy and try to get their knees through, okay, to try to recover their guard. Or sometimes if you're cupping the pants here and trying to drop forward, don't grab your sleeve, all right, they're gonna open your legs up nice and wide and they're gonna shoulder walk back as they're trying to lift their hips here like this and then maybe they can circle their legs around and recover their guard like this. All right, so now one of the best ways that I've uh, found to do the double underpass is by actually grabbing your lapels. Now what that does is, when you're under the legs here like this, if you can open up the lapels and you're gonna grab thumb in and anchor your elbows down to your hip like this, when your partner tries to shoulder walk, okay, it's gonna be really difficult. So when they try to push your wrist up, okay, they won't be able to because of the lapels. And okay, not only that, but watch how I'm able to get his hips off the ground into a stacking position using only my legs and not a lot of strength, okay? So I grab inside here, tuck my elbows, so now watch, I lean forward, I get on my toes, and I'm gonna start lifting my partner's hips with my knees. So I lift, 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 and now I control my partner's hips by pinching my knees together and pulling back on the lapel here. So try to recover your guard, Mike. Okay, it's really difficult. They're either gonna roll for you, in which case you can attack the back, or they're gonna stay here trying to wiggle themselves free and shoulder walk. Okay, so now from here, I'm gonna take a hand and I'm gonna reach across, thumb in on the collar. Okay, so I reach across, thumb in on the collar, and I'm gonna use my knee to start pinning his shoulder down. So now from here, I can use my chest to push his legs over to the other side. And I can bring my chest down and secure a nice tight side control position there. How do you feel, Mike? Tight? Sucks. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's try it again. Here, double under position. Okay. And you can start with the pants or the gable grip position and always switch. So let's say you dive in here, boom, and you get this gable grip position here. You can always switch to the, uh, the lapels here. Now let me try to scoot back. It's going to be difficult. Okay. So lean forward, and I get my toes to the mat. Okay, let's turn this way. So now watch. I start lifting my knees. Up, 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 up. I pinch, and I get my hand through, cross, thumb in, and I pin the shoulder, cut the angle, and I use my chest to drive my front of the across, and look for a nice side control position there. Okay? So that's the double underpass from there. Um, just some new grips that I started messing with. I hope you guys uh, give it a try and see how it works out for you. Leave it down in the comment section, okay? What's your favorite grip to do the double underpass? What's your favorite pass uh, to do in general? Okay, leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, so that's what I'm saying? No.